What is up guys? We are back with another Sonic merch video. The last one we did was about the Sonic Movie 3 merch line where I actually bought every single item that was available at the time. Since then, I've been trying to grab the items that I'm missing now, which is the large talking Sonic figure and the deluxe shadow plush. I don't really care about the, the versions, like the different versions of the figures. Like there's a shadow figure that comes with a motorcycle. I'm probably not gonna grab that. And there's also a crab bot figure. I'm probably not gonna grab that either but I do want the Talking Sonic and the Deluxe Shadow plush. So while I was at Walmart looking for those, I didn't find them. <laughs> I instead found this. So this is the IDW Sonic, Metal Virus Sonic from, I guess, it's not called the Metal Virus series. It's called like the Zombot series or something. I haven't read very many of the comics. I only have a couple issues actually, and I haven't even read those. So <laughs> I have to catch up on the IDW comics, but I definitely want to do that at some point. Um, I thought that this was a really interesting figure to grab. A lot of people say that Zombot series is one of the greatest Sonic comic series that they've ever done. So I thought that this was a cool one to pick up. We have Sonic as he's becoming like a robot and we have the Zombot bot froggy there we also have some really nice packaging here featuring sonic jumping out of a comic panel and then some other panels from the comic of course on the back here we have some more artwork 11 points of articulation zombot froggy again and then sonic in like a running pose really cool metal virus sonic with zombot froggy and then different languages i think that the only reason i was able to snag this this actually just came out but usually in Canada, we get things a little later. The only reason I was able to snag this is because I am in Montreal, Quebec, and everything is French here. So the packaging has to be bilingual or they're not allowed to sell it. So the fact that this actually has bilingual packaging meant that they were allowed to sell it and we were actually able to get a hold of this. It's funny, I went into the Sonic figure aisle and then this was kind of just off to the side, like not even hanging on a peg, just sitting there on the shelf so when I saw this it was a must grab and I had to get my hands on it I would have liked to keep this in the box but as you can kind of sort of see here the box is kind of dinged up and we might as well open this guy up and showcase what he looks like out of the package anyway so once again I'm gonna switch to another angle where we'll be able to look at this guy in more detail my phone is able to record in 4k whereas my webcam it kind of struggles a bit so we're gonna switch to the phone cam and take a look at this guy okay so here he is here are our guys froggy and zombot sonic I apologize for the the jankiness of this setup right now. I'm trying to improve my setup right now, but for now, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Here we have Metal Virus Sonic with Zombot Froggy. Here's a closer look at some of those panels. We have Amy with her Pico Pico hammer. We have like Tails' butt up there, I don't know. We have Sonic, yeah. Pretty cool. Up there we have the Sonic the Hedgehog logo with the little comic collection. Since this is probably the first of many, let's be real. I feel like they used this one as a testing ground, like, hmm, would people care about Sonic comic figures? And the answer is, hell yeah we do. So hopefully people buy this guy and uh, hopefully they'll release some more. Since there's obviously some IDW exclusive characters like Surge and whatnot and Tangle that I'm sure people are dying to get in figure form, this is of course by Jax Pacific. Jax, if you're watching this, feel free to support the channel. Send us over some figures to cover on the channel. That would be really awesome. We have a Sonic panel here with, we actually have Tangle right there, so really cool. And yeah, as we mentioned, 11 points of articulation, but let's go ahead and open this guy up. Ugh. And there we have the back of him. Really cool, like chrome silver effect there. Yes, and we have our boy Froggy literally jumping out at us. Let's go ahead and get that to focus. He has no tail. Usually he has like a big tail after he eats the Chaos Emerald, but I guess this is just regular Froggy with no tail. He has these little cracks in him, which is done on purpose, of course, and he has two like little spikes on his cheeks. Really cool. Oh, and on his head too, to kind of, you know, distinguish him and show that, you know, this is the 
the bot version of Froggy. This is not regular Froggy. And of course he has the glowing red eyes. He's kind of this like metallic-y, very shiny light green. It almost looks like a figure that would glow in the dark or something, but I'm sure he, he doesn't. <laughs> but he's, either way, he's a really nice figure to have. And you know, you gotta love, you gotta love Froggy, right? <laughs> so all right, let's get this packaging out of the way. And let's take a look at Metal Virus Sonic now. We'll have to pry him out of the package. Is he held down in any way? I don't think he is. So let's do the old push and shove. <clears throat> no way. I was actually wrong. As you can see, well, you can sort of see it right there. There is a plastic tab there. So we'll have to cut that and uh, free our boy. Look at him. He looks like he's struggling. He's like, whoa. Okay. So I was actually able to slide him right out without even breaking that plastic tab. So that's cool. And anyway, here he is. He's a really cool figure. What's interesting to note is that he doesn't have the joint articulation that other Sonic figures have, especially like the movie Sonic. He's like very premium and he has all these different points of articulation. This guy, well, this guy, <laughs> the Metal Virus version has way less articulation compared to say the movie one. So that being said, like you can move his arms around, but he doesn't have, he doesn't have the extra joint here, which makes him a little harder to pose. He's also doing this like weird open hand where, where you can give him like something to hold, I guess. And then his other hand is kind of similar, but it's a fist. But honestly, he looks really great. Of course, he's just like regular Sonic, but parts of him are being covered in chrome because he's being infected by the metal virus. You are actually able to bend his legs, even though it's strange, like he can't really bend his arms, but you can bend his legs because they kind of had to give that point of articulation since it's Sonic, everyone's gonna want to have him in like a running pose. So they had to, you know, add that little point of articulation there so that you can bend his legs. Now, the main issue that I tend to have with Sonic figures is this, his head. <laughs> he has these massive quills, of course, on the back of his head. So he tends to be very top heavy and can't stand very well. If you have him bending forward a little bit, he stands up just fine, but then you don't see his face really, which is not ideal. So you kind of have to have him leaning against something. I'm probably gonna display him with the froggy on his head. Shout out to Tito the OG. He actually posted a photo like this with froggy on his head and that kind of made me want the figure like oh man they actually make such an awesome duo together <laughs> we'll get a slightly better shot of him here so that so that you can actually see his open mouth i find that that's one of the one of the highlights to this figure is his unique open mouth it's not really like an expression that you see from sonic ever really so it kind of makes this figure unique and definitely makes it stand out in your collection he kind of has this expression as if he's like struggling, of course, because he's being consumed by this like metal virus. So he's like, yeah. So having him like with the froggy on his head makes it look like he's fighting like with froggy kind of, which is really awesome. We just have the awkward blaze staring at him from a distance like, uh, you good over there, man? <laughs> but anyway, I'm definitely interested to see whether or not we'll get more IDW comics in the future. I would love for that to happen. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of this Metal Virus Sonic and Zombot Froggy figure? Are you going to be picking these up? Or are you maybe going to skip out on these guys? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to your boy as always. We're trying to reach our brand new goal of 50,000 subscribers. And once we do, I have a crazy amount of surprises for you guys planned. You're not gonna wanna miss it. You're definitely gonna wanna be here once we hit that mark. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace, 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 peace. Oh my God, I can't get over how cool he looks.